Hello, good morning, welcome to today's products in focus. US 30 there still uh, hovering around about 18, 1, 1, 1 spot 9 as we enter into Friday, which of course non farm payrolls. Uh, and after the ECB um, statement yesterday, lots of volatility um, around Draghi's comments um, about stimulus measures. We saw um, your dollar spike up and then drop back down again. And we're still, we're, we're briefly below 1 spot 10 on your dollar, but I'll speak about that in a second. But the US there is probably not going to do a huge amount until we get non farm payrolls out of the way. Now it does look to be that um, many traders are already positioning themselves for a positive, more positive number than what um, has been forecasted at, at 240. That's why we're seeing uh, the dollar uh, kind of rally across the board and why we're seeing gold move lower on the back of that. Um, now traders have happened to get it wrong every, every once in a while, so that's one thing just to bear in mind. So new K100 uh, bounced back really strongly yesterday. Um, we're looking at 69.64 as a potential Resistance again. We probably yeah. want to see a breakthrough yeah. from that. This is all obviously in the back of the of, of the ECB pumping lots of cheap money into the economy. The Germany 30 as well as at all time highs, uh, and that obviously has a knock on effect to the UK 100 with our partners over there on the mainland. So nevertheless, it's a level to to watch. Jumping on Japan 225 is also breaking out higher as we see more yen selling. So the yen's losing value. Uh, dollar is creeping up against it, making the Japanese firms. Um, more attractive for um, for the potential profits they could repatriate back to uh, Japan, and we've seen a nice breakout there already today. Longer term potential resistance still at twenty thousand eight hundred and sixty eight. Um, talking about dollar yen, it's slowly creeping higher. Uh, we're just about to break through this tip right here. It's one twenty spot fifty was a previous high. Today could be the day, depending on how good. Uh, the non pop heroes figure is average earnings and the unemployment data, obviously. Um, but we'll, we'll, come, we'll come back to that in a little minute. Decent session yesterday. There's not going to be a huge amount of volatility until we get this uh, this figure out of the way. So moving on to crude oil West Texas, it's drifting again. Uh, I was unable to capitalize on the um, spike we saw uh, the previous day. It's still uh, at a relative high point compared to what it has been. Uh, anything above 50 is uh, is pretty solid to be fair. Still eyeing up 54.85 as the next potential resistance level. So jumping onto gold, you can just see the, the volatility, the long legged candles, keeps trying to push up, keeps getting a slam back down again. Uh, 11.86 support, uh, 12.18 potential resistance, and obviously it's all about the crude oil, uh, not crude oil, it's all about the non farm payrolls uh, figures today that's going to drive that uh, one direction or the next. Euro dollar, as we mentioned, broke 110 yesterday for the first time since 2003. Um, again, we'll wait to uh, NFP to see where it's going to go next. There are there's some Eurozone GDP uh, data figures due out earlier on this morning. That will just add a little bit of, uh, of fire, but this, this has already come off a fair amount, so um, it might be the case that there's already a little bit of that um, dollar strength priced in. So you're probably looking at um, a figure of uh, 270, 280 plus before you maybe register anything, uh, anything decent on your dollar because some of this action has already been priced in. And looking at the cable as well, it's having a bit of a torrid time of it the last couple of days after the break of this, uh, this trend line support. We're only a stone's throw away from one spot 51.85, which has been that potential support for a little while. After that, it's got the um, the option to go much lower, one spot 48.13. Um, now, economic date wise, uh, as I mentioned, we've got GDP at 10 for the eurozone, and then uh, non-farm payrolls, and that's obviously quite uh, quite a big one to be aware of. As a matter of fact, I'm going to make sure I've got my alert set on GDP, so I'll make sure that that comes through. And um, Trade balance is also due at 130 as well, so there's actually a fair amount of US data all due. And if we fast forward then on to Monday, um, right after Sunday night, we've got a whole host of, uh, of um, trade balance from, from China and some Japanese data as well. And then looking at Monday, nothing too exciting. And then Tuesday, more Chinese data, more CPI. And that's really it. So make the most of your of your Friday uh, today with non farm payrolls. Remember, there is a live webinar. Just go to support, go to live trader events. You can sign up to our live webinar, and that's that starts at quarter past one UK time, uh, and um, you'll be able to get a chance to see that. Or you can go to cmcmarkets.co.uk and have a look at the education section there, and you can sign up to it anywhere in the world as well. So keep your eye on the chart form as ever. Make insights part of your layout going forward, and join me again on Monday to find out what happened next.